that is a big error that we here break down here at 48 hours. In this video, we're going to break down Haaland's hat trick, Chelsea's six, and Everton's annihilation here at 48 hours. I'm Cole. I'm Sean. Up first in this one, Brighton versus Man United. Cole, what's he doing? I'll tell you what he's done and who's done it. The first one's Martinez. He's marking the wrong man in the box, and Welbeck around once again. Two games, two goals. He's in his prime. He's, apparently so. So he's prime like Kessa. Silly from the Argentine. Okay. We only rhyme here at 48 hours. Up next is Van Hecker, mm -hmm. back on the list, two years in a row. Obviously. He deflects it into his own net, is unlucky, but can't be scoring in your own goal. No, one of the commandments here at 48 hours, Sean, what are they? If you give the pen, you get the fault. Yep. We rarely blame the goalkeeper. Yep. And if you score an own goal, well, that's on you, Kurt. You get the blame. What are you doing? We don't. And Sean, first double of this weekend, last goal in this game. Martinez, what are you doing? What have you done? Martinez is the centre-back, Sean. You all know that. He knows that. Of course he knows that. He's the oracle of all knowledge. But guess where he stood? 18-yard line. What are you doing there, boy? You can't be there. It's it's really funny to watch the highlights. Yeah, João Pedro is there all on his own. Because last week we thought Vardy was open. Yeah. My <laughs> God. João Pedro is open. So open. And remember, if you're liking this video, like the video and subscribe to 48 Hours. Really helps the channel. Enjoy the rest of the goals. Crashing us into Southampton versus Forest. Disappointing game for me because I want Forest to get relegated and I don't want Southampton to get relegated. 1-0, Sean's goal, not involved. Go on. I apologise for the pronunciation, especially with the shirt I'm wearing. Sugawara. Run the ads. He takes it out of McCarthy's hands, basically. Yeah. I mean, as a goalkeeper, that would be annoying for you. Yep. Like, you're about to catch the ball, gets kicked away. Mm -hmm. Especially when they kick it away straight to the other team striker. Yep. Morgan Gibbs-White, getting himself on the score sheet. He's about to have a good season. Not a forest, I'm not going that. I don't. Not a forest, stay up. I don't like the idea of that. If he doesn't touch the ball, there's no goal. All right, first juicy top six flight game. No, that's Man United bullshit. devastated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Carry on. You, you intro this one. And the third game, Manchester City yep. versus Ipswich. This game should have been an absolute paste in, and it was. And it, but yeah. Ipswich scored first. They did. Can you believe it? It happened. Wish I put money on it. Rico Lewis, was not paying attention, and when he does pay attention, he then stops running. When he needs to keep running, and he doesn't keep running. It's very simple. What are you doing? Keep running. We done. It was lucky Edison even got a little touch to this. Everyone thought he's just the keeper's been done and it dribbles in. It is slightly harsh because it could be given to a candy. It could be given. They both just gave up. I feel like Lewis. John Terry would never give up. Oh, yeah, John Terry. He'd have barreled to John that. John Terry had a two for it. Carragher never would have done. Did you see I gave you the little like breakdown on how to say his name? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even say it. No, you didn't. That's didn't need fine. To. Davis is slowly going to just is own it, this list. third. Now, the first player with three faults this season. After two games. Davies for Ipswich. He's taking the lead early on the what's he doing list. Give pen, get fault. Simple. New Ahmed Hodzic. <laughs> New Ahmed Hodzic, maybe. And he's a fullback. This one depresses me, this goal, because it's Murich. It's the keeper. We don't like blaming the keepers. It's one of the commandments, but oh my God. It's classic from him as well. Like he, does, he did this for Burnley. He's doing yeah, it again. He tries dribbling out from the back. Against who? That's Kevin De Bruyne. Just what are you doing? What have you done? You've embarrassed yourself. You've let your team down. You let your family down. You let yourself down. We've got to move on. We don't like blaming keepers, man. But listen, there's no one else to blame. Yeah, the issue is this. This year, I'm cracking down on it as well. Yeah, what? I'm not allowing keepers to get blamed if they're not at fault. Yeah. But this guy was outside of the box when Holland scored, yeah. and Holland was in the box on the ball for three seconds. Yeah, it's crazy. Goalkeeper shouldn't be out of the box. Goalkeeper should never seconds. be anywhere near there. That is a howl of a breakdown. The only three seconds the keeper's allowed outside the box is when he's running from the halfway line at halftime. Yeah, hundred percent. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Or he's running back from when he's run up the pitch to try and equalise or try and get the draw, get the goal. Well, and he's I mean, got to get back to his own goal. He might have been running up the pitch to get the equaliser. <laughs> he was not To try and get a goal. <laughs> in possession. He might as well have been. What is he doing up there? Yeah, what has he done? We've got Harness. What are you doing? What are you done? You're not going to keep up with Haaland, man. Haaland just bodies him. It's, it bounces off of you. Ipswich just needed to go home after the second goal, I think. They did not have a good day. Sean, your turn. Fulham Leicester. I've heard James Justin. Don't trust a man with two first names. No, can't do it. Can't be done. He dives forward to play offside, mm -hmm. but it's iconically late. And then he can't get over to Smith Rowe in time. Mm. And when Smith Rowe scores a hat-trick against Arsenal in the Emirates this season, I will laugh. Yeah, in the London derby, that would be embarrassing. And then when Havertz scores a hat-trick against Arsenal, yeah, I will I'm cry. not going to enjoy that if that does happen. Up next, Bassi. What are you doing? What are you doing? And he gets out-jumped by Fayez. I mean, it's... Of all the ways he could have got done, that is embarrassing. Getting dunked on, what are you going to do? The perfect example of how zonal marking doesn't work. Because there are quite literally six <laughs> Leicester players around Batsy. Yeah. 
I, I, the replay is hilarious. Mm. Now, if you know me, you might think that I have an agenda against this man. Why's that? Because Harry Winks is next. For the people that do know me, yeah. I do have an agenda against him. <laughs> the pace is his main issue here. Awobi blitzes the poor guy. Yeah, like, th- this could have been anyone. Mm-hmm. But Awobi just was like, turn on. Yeah, destroyed it, placed it. This was a proper poacher's goal. It's a really good goal. I've not seen Awobi move this fast in years. Yeah, this is an Eden Hazard goal. Just whoop, done. Dude, we'll dude like hit speeds a centimetre should not be hit. Yeah, so moving swiftly on, Crystal Palace West Ham. Palace not so, having the best season so far. Only two games in though, so they're still warming. Hopefully, the first goal mine was Muniz. What are you doing? We don't. One of the commandments is no own goals. It came off you last. It's an own goal. What are you doing? Commandment endorsed. Exactly. And West Ham's second is a classic counter attack for them. Mm. And one hundred percent sure Tyree Mitchell would have been shown. West Ham liked to counter attack. Yeah, he and would have been. If he didn't know that, what what, doing? what's he doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And when Bowen's on the ball, running down that right wing, you're expecting the camera to pan and Tyreek Mitchell will be stood there. Yeah, no. He's nowhere inside. He's not there. He he, he's gone. Like, didn't bother running. I'm pretty sure he's not even in his own half when the ball goes <laughs> yeah, in. How far away from his position was he? I don't know. The, you can't see him on the camera. The geezer's oop. <laughs> need the camera and zoom out. So oop. Oop. Him. Here at 48 hours, oop means out of position. Dangerously out of from, dangerously out of position. Doop. Doop, Doop shirts in common. Doop shirts. Is that it? Just 2-0. Yeah. yeah, go on. Tottenham versus Everton. Mm-hmm. Tottenham Hotspurs versus Everton. This was a paste in, as we said, in the title. This. And in the thumbnail, all sorts. This looked so good for Everton to start. Yeah. Jordan Pickles was on fire. Mm-hmm. They couldn't break down the defence. The midfield yeah. was dominating. Yeah. And then, and then, and then the first no fault of the season had to break Everton's spine and spirits. This shot was genuinely blocked five times. Yeah, before it then bounced out to Basuma. My word, rocket shot! First ever goal for Spurs as well. Yeah, so that is absolute beauty. This is the kind of stuff that happens to Chelsea. Well done, sir. Second up, this one was easy. Pickford, he apologised. Yeah, and uh, I don't accept your apology. I wanted you to have this goal, to be honest, because I know you've got a vendetta against Pickford. It his is tiny little arms, but his touch is just. It is a ridiculous touch from old <laughs> small arms. You uh... can see, like he actually pushes it with his the back of his heel, way out wide, and it, it sort of miss hits. He's not looking at the ball. He's trying the Ivan Tony touch. To be honest, if Ben Son was running at me and the ball was slowly coming back to me, I'd kick it as hard as I could. In yeah, the other just direction. blitz it clean out. Like, I'm not having him get anywhere near me. Because two 0 that is that's a hard lesson. No, sorry, that's a hard position to come back to against a team like Tottenham, who will just then park it. Who will then just sit high, so you can't play the ball over the top. Exactly the way they ever want to. Next one, Tarkovsky, and not something we get to say a lot about this guy because he is massive. He got out jumped. He got jumped on. So Romero's jumped. He's then Romero's put his both his arms on his head and then pushed Tarkovsky down. Like, how it's not a foul from the ref is one. It's Romero. Two, what? Romero doesn't give fouls. Yeah, Romero, Romero doesn't get fouls. He dragged them out. Of... Yeah, true. But he, he genuinely pushes Tarkovsky down and he, like you said, got dunked. Like, you can't get that. Him. Like, that's and one, mate. Just jump. Just jump higher. Just nut him back. Just do something. Sunday league it. Now, you know you've got really good squad depth when your replacement for Ashley Young, a 38-year-old man, mm. is a 17-year-old named Quintin. Surname, Quintin. Van Ven read the stat last year where he was like, I'm the fastest player in the league. I'm going to show it. Sprinted the entire pitch. Oh, yeah. Van der Ven's massive and he's rapid. But he shouldn't have been marking Van der Ven in the first no. place, Quintin. He this need- was a huge counter, no? He needed to yeah. go out to Son. Yeah. I cannot believe Van der Ven didn't. If that's oh, me, no. I'm... So Van der Ven's I'm- being told, do not shoot. If that's me, I'm shooting every day. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> but like... The fact he <laughs> ran the entire pitch, yeah. got into the box, mm. and then still didn't shoot, fair play to you. Yeah, I mean, that, he's laid off. Son would have been screaming for that, and that would have been training ground stuff. Van der Ven will be told, like, every now and again, you're going to get an open channel, blitz down there, but lay it off, because you're going to be tired, and you're going to swing a leg at it and miss kick it. Just, that's going to be embarrassing. Old, and you're going to end up on this show. The old Rudiger run, that one. Yeah, that's it. Just, uh, Rudiger doesn't get in the box. I know. Rudiger, Rudiger yards, get even the ball. with one guy in the way. Rudiger <laughs> would get the ball. Rudiger would never. Have six different <laughs> passing options. He would never. And then have flight. He scored one, though. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. And, and it was glorious. An absolute belter. All right, up next, Aston Villa versus Arsenal. And Villa had no answer to the mighty Gooners. Mighty. Apparently, they're mighty. They finish second every year. They Who do it on purpose. Rogers, what are you doing? What have you done? Just walking around the box and then complains when the ball gets bashed in. He's got no purpose. He's just sort of wandering, stuck in the mud syndrome. What a melt. 
it got to a point where he should have been the guy going out to Saka, mm -hmm. and he's just like dwindling just and stopped. Out the box. Just he just got no, starstruck by Saka. Not once did he stop moving, mm. but he was quite literally walking like yeah. the groundsman at half time. He might as well have had a pitchfork poking <laughs> the ground. And then once the ball got to, you gave the next one as no fault. Once the ball got to Arsenal, yeah, he complained, even though he's the guy to intercept it. Yeah. What do you mean got to Arsenal? You mean Odegaard? An Arsenal player? I don't know. Who Odegaard. Yeah, once I got the guard, he mm -hmm. then complained. Like, he's the guy that's supposed to intercept it. Embarrassing. Melt. And he just wanted to not get the blame. But here he is on the list. We got him. You guys may not have seen it, but that's the point of this show. What's he doing? I'll tell you what, no one's done. No one's at fault for this goal, in the my humble opinion. Why is that? Now, the back angle of this shot makes it no fault. Sumptuous. Okay. Because if Emi Martinez would have saved this, my God. Yeah. Best save I've ever seen. Mm. He has stood on the wrong side of the goal. Yeah, big leap. Scrambles over, dives, yeah. gets a weak hand to it. Yeah. But no, he tips. This was tips. Like, on hand. He didn't get a par. Yeah, I know. But got like, tips. if he had strong fingers. That was a strong shot coming in. Grass oh, yeah. cut from Partey. Yeah. Like. Partey, what a finish, mate. Fair right. play. No fault. Glory's goal. Right. We've got an eight goal thriller. Sean, we're going to bust through these. I think we got one words we got a one word round it because every now and again there's just a game with far too many goals and we don't want you to get bored. So the mighty Chelsea winning 6-2 against Wolves and we got battered by them 4-2 last year. Let's quick fire it. First one, Cunha, you assisted. What are you doing? It's more than one word. Gusto, marking. Mosquera, dinked. Dinked it on. Yeah. Fafana, Beyblade. Spinning around there. <laughs> Ain't Nori, deflection. What are you doing? Commandment. Yeah. Ain't Nori, positioning. What double, double. Gomez dispossessed just somebody in your inner Pickford Dawson Markin like Lewis Dunk there you go that was Chelsea Wolves 8 goal thriller <laughs> that was 8 goals in less time than it took us to get you through the 1 goal Crystal Palace game exactly alright Bournemouth Newcastle and up first it's a me it's a craft oh what are you doing what have you done Emil what is the point of being well positioned if you're not going to do anything when the ball comes towards you uh, what, is ha what is happening what are you doing hands on head indeed yeah his reaction perfect Made, made it for me. He, he, he knew in his head what am I doing? Now, Chelsea were linked with this man mm -hmm. at left back and I couldn't be more happy that we did not sign him. And Kirk has, how on earth have you let Gordon get to this ball? Yeah. It's genuinely upset me when I saw it. <laughs> Gordon is wraps. I don't care. <laughs> Gordon is on the on the one yard. Yeah, he He's off the it. pitch. Yeah, he shouldn't have been allowed. And Kirk has just... Fell asleep. <laughs> Gordon's there. <laughs> Insane. Mike definitely didn't pick that up. Last game. Liverpool, Brentford. I put Beantford. I wrote Beantford. Beantford. Yeah, I pressed E instead of R. Too close yeah. to each other. Big fingers. Sausage. Big fingers. Yeah, Liverpool, Brentford, last game. And Mo Salah doing his thing. But uh, guess who's up first, Sean? I don't know. One of your favourites from last year. Jan Elt. What are you doing? Oh, he's playing in position as well. Was what it shame. really? Yeah. yeah. He's, well, he's still getting on the list in position. Jan Elt had the chance to intercept this ball and dropped it hard, Sean. He did. This was Hail Mary. He's got it in his hands. Yeah. Went straight through his hands. Yeah, dude, his, hands dis it. his hands might as well have disappeared. He's fumbled it to guess who? Louis Diaz. What are you doing? We done. This run. This goal was sumptuous. That, it was that, like the Van der Ven goal. This, nice. this goal was good Colombian, <laughs> is what I would say. And up last. Yeah, bringing it home, Sean. What's he doing? said. Christoph is... Let's get on this list. Well, he's on it again. Okay, so we found out, tactics-wise, full-back mm. Azure doesn't work. No, for... Especially against Salah. <laughs> yeah. I do not know what David Frank was thinking. Yeah, Davies can't handle him, now Azure can't handle him. We're going to have to keep a list of people that can't handle Mo Salah. Separately to the what's he doing list. There were two Liverpool players in acres on the right-hand side, mm. and one of them just so happened to be Mohamed Salah. Yeah. That's a problem. That's an error. Big, big error. That is a big error that we here break down here at 48 Hours. And that's it for this week's What's He Doing? What's he done?